Okay, so with a bit of a slowdown on the Switch right now for, you know, new games, let's do something I've never done before, a visual novel review. Next week, I will say things are going to be picking back up, so stick with us for that. We've got reviews coming up for Fold Apart, It's Us and La Sea, a MotoGP 20. But for now, today, we're looking at The Fox Awaits Me on the Nintendo Switch. This one, it's promising some thrilling mystery, horror, comedy, sadness. But can it deliver, or is it nothing more than an excuse for light flirting and well fan service well hit subscribe if you love the switch as much as i do and let's just get this started it's a story here and you're taking on the role of kaito awakening in a bamboo forest with nothing more than a single bell filling the airwaves you found yourself without memories you've basically got a good old case of amnesia and no idea where you are. Confused, disorientated, you're quickly introduced to the game's first character. That's Shura, a fox girl, if the ears and the tail didn't already give that away. So addressing you as master in some seriously heavy-handed submissiveness, it's clear she knows you and in fact it's pretty clear you have a history together. Now before you know it, she takes you to a home hidden from human sight in the bamboo forest and there's a huge property just kind of awaiting you. So with a heavy dose of fantasy, you can also expect to meet the remaining two characters in the tale pretty early on. We get the mountain deity Mim and Grim Reaper Karen. It's clear the fox awaits me is trying to be a balance of a story somewhere between mystery thriller and part every woman who sees you can't resist you and wants a piece of you. I will say story-wise, the initial setup they do largely succeed. I found the world and characters to be intriguing and there's some minor like voiceover moments warning you of danger that I did find really intense. I was excited to get this going and sadly this quickly just devolved into very much the background story and simply an excuse to put you in kind of like compromising scenarios where these three women have an opportunity to gain and win your attention. So yeah, it's full of the usual innuendos and suggestive content. It's far from adult in any way and all very tame, but it's more a male protagonist with female romance options than anything else. I was, I will say, disappointed personally. I wanted the mystery moments because when it did focus here, I was just immediately engrossed with it. This is a great world they've built. The writing is very much solid and they weren't lying when they said comedy because I did find myself here laughing quite a bit. They just unfortunately like padded it all out with the fan service and it felt like a bit of a waste for these great characters. With six endings though, there's plenty of replayability here for you to get sunk into if you're a fan of, you know, the fan service romance format. Very much being made for a specific audience though, that was clearly the goal from the start and they've done very little here to divert from that basic structure. Basically, if you're a fan of the genre, I have no doubt you're going to be largely impressed here. Okay, so this may be the quickest gameplay section I've ever done. It's all reading with a very occasional decision moment, but when I say occasional, I mean it took around an hour to get to my first decision, and it was simply choosing from one of three locations. For the most part, this one just hit that Y button, it sticks the whole thing on autoplay, and you can then sit back, relax, and enjoy the storyline. That's gameplay. So visually, I've got to say I adored The Fox Awaits Me. The world they've created here truly is something special to explore. And honestly, it made me kind of wish I did get more choices to explore these locations and kind of dig in. So yeah, that's for sure a compliment to this one. It does a great job, though, of largely creating realistic locations, yet adding kind of like a mystical feeling to it all. It means every location that I saw, I was always kind of excited to see what it held, what, what kind of fantasy would they add into it. Characters then, and our three here, we've got Shura, Karen and Mim, they're all designed, I've got to say, to the highest of standards. And while they do only have like minimal animations, I really like them. These animations, they did this great job of capturing the emotion and the reactions of the characters in line with what was being presented in the dialogue and taking place in the story. Really, really strong work, honestly. Problems, the text boxes and on-screen prompts like autoplay, skip, it's all very dated, almost like Wii-like level. It's almost a trait of the genre, I've got to be fair, but I'd question that in any visual novel, so I'm questioning it yeah, here. Also, the backgrounds, occasionally they do this kind of weird zoom in, and this proved to have kind of like heavy pixelation on everything. It's rare, but it does happen, so I wanted to give you that heads up. Overall, visually though, I was really impressed with a pretty great production quality overall. 
to audio and for the most part again like graphics it's solid the music is fantastic first up even if the opening pop song ain't quite my style personally i can recognize that fans of the genre will love it and then for the majority it's these kind of beautiful orchestral chill out moments with piano lines to really reinforce returning themes that just continue the whole way through. It also knows when to match the tension, the horror, the comedy. I like the soundtrack so much, in fact, I'm hoping there's going to be a way to pick this one up physically outside of the imported uh, special edition physical release. Dialogue wise then, don't expect English, but it is all vice acted and to what I could tell at least a relatively high standard. Occasionally it got a little bit grating for me at times as these three women on screen would just like scream and shout like deafening poor Kaito into submission was their plan. But for the 90% they were absolutely fine and they matched the moments whether the fear, the comedy or the, well, yeah. You know. Also, I'll say as well, it gives them all three characters very unique and individual personalities. And again, yeah, great work. Overall, sadly, The Fox Awaits Me, it was a disappointment for me in the sense it didn't deliver to me what the eShop description had kind of led me to believe. And, you know, the game I was getting into very much wasn't what they told me it was. Comedy, mystery, horror, that all takes the back seat to romance and fan service. I was excited going into this one, so I can't deny it did let me down, and I ended up spending probably 80% of the experience watching three women throw themselves at me like Kaito's the best thing since sliced bread. This, it's a letdown because when the game focused on the mystery, it was enticing. The comedy, for the most part, landed, and it was because of this, I've got to say, I kept on pushing forward, wanting to get more answers, wanting to see the outcome, and wanting to know well, who is Kaito. If you do though like the idea of a heavy focus on kind of romancing and fan service with just a dash of mystery, this may just be worth considering. Priced at $44.99 in the US, $36.89 in the UK and $40.99 in Europe. I don't think the pricing is unfair honestly, six endings are going to give you some solid replayability and game time with this one. Today I'm awarding The Fox Awaits Me a slightly above average 6 out of 10. It's not a bad game, nor would I say it's particularly you know, good, but strong animation, character and world design, and then a stunning soundtrack I just let down by the most important element. The story, or at least what I was set up to believe it was going to be. For now, I'm sticking to more mystery focus, like your AIs, your Steingates, and I just picked up a World End Syndrome actually, maybe that will prove something special and will feed that urge I'm having recently for a good mystery experience. So yeah, let me know your thoughts below, leave the video a like if we helped you out, and hit that subscribe button, join our growing family if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, and we'll see you all on the next video.